Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk with Julie from the Queen Anne's County Library and she's going to tell us about a huge summer series that they have going on, summer activities. It's called Fizz Boom Read, correct? Correct. <laughs> okay, and that's the name of the program and there's just tons of different um, activities in it. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the, pro the different um, I guess you call them activities that you have and the ages and that type of thing and and how much all this stuff costs. Sure. <laughs> this boom read is for birth through fifth grade. Oh wow. And we separate that into two groups from June 16th through July 31st. The okay. children can come in and pick up their reading folders and they have game boards and reading logs inside. And okay. The kids get a sticker with sneaks our library mascot on it. And um, the packets are a little different for the birth to five group and the elementary group, but basically they're writing down what they read. Each time they visit the library, they earn a sticker. Okay. And then to go along with promoting reading, we have a lot of events happening in our meeting rooms at the libraries this summer. All right. And I know that um, we have some slides up. There's three events that you had sent me slides on. Tell us about those. Yes, we hire outside performers to come in and do some activities every year. And so both the Centerville and Kent Island branches will be welcoming the Maryland Science Center. They have a program called Science Unscripted, and some of their scientists come in. They wow. set up a little lab right there in our meeting room. Okay. And they do a lot of chemistry and other science experiments. And the kids actually pull out of a deck of cards to figure out which activity is coming next, which experiment. Oh, so wow. even the presenters don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so yeah, so it's like on the fly, it right is. then and there they have to do Very decide. Very exciting, yes. Okay, and then what's the next one that comes after that? And then we'll have the Maryland Zoo Mobile coming in, and they are bringing some animals. This theme is fear, friend or foe. So they're going to bring some animals that oh. might commonly make people scared and talk about, well, should we be afraid of them or not? So I'm guessing there could be a snake. That's, or what, could that's be a the bat first thing I'm thinking about is a snake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what they bring. It's always a surprise. Okay. And that's and is that at both libraries it also? It will be, Okay. Yes. And then what's the next one? We also have the Juggling Hoffmans coming in this year. It's a group that's new for us. They juggle, and they also talk about the science involved in juggling. Uh, yeah, because most people think you just throw the balls up, but it's, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't name so, that either. <laughs> very interesting. And then I know you brought some props with you today. Yes. Um, tell us about what all we have here. Well, when the students come in with their reading logs, each time they visit the library, they'll earn a sticker, but they'll also get an entry form. And this is for the kindergarten to fifth graders. Okay. Um, they can earn a prize. And we have Lego kits. We have Goldie Blocks. This is building what, a dunk I, tank. I, I was just going to ask, what I've never heard of Goldie Blocks. It's kind of in reaction to Legos traditionally being aimed toward boys, and this is just a different way to think about okay. building that appeals to girls. And then some science kits like this one, the Fizzy Foamy Science. Just some prizes that the kids can try and win to reward them for their reading efforts this okay. summer. Okay. And then I know you brought one other prop, which I've been sitting here playing with. I'm fascinated with this. <laughs> we are emphasizing science and reading, of course, but there's also a math component this year. This is called Bedtime Math. And so if kids are interested, they can ask for their constellation chart and their star stickers. And each night as they do a bedtime math problem using the website or the book or the bedtime math app, they can put a sticker on for each problem they solve, and when their star chart is full, they can come in and pick up their flashlight from Okay, us. so they get a flashlight if they get all the stars on the chart. Oh, how yeah. cool is that? Very nice. So, and, and these programs cost how much? They're at no cost to the children and families. They so, just come in and tell us they want to be part of it. So these are free programs that either the Ken Allen Stevensville Library or the Centerville Library offers yes. and they run throughout the summer and they're free. That's probably the biggest thing. And um, I know one other thing to touch on is, you know, the library, they're not just books anymore. Mm -hmm. And we try to get that across. You have Tell us about some of the other stuff that's available there. No matter what day of the week it is, the children are always welcome to come in and explore the children's room and use the books. We also have computers, we have puzzles, we have coloring, and we've added some early literacy toy bins so they can pull those out. There's nine different activities they can try. And fairly new to our children's rooms are touchscreen catalogs, oh, which wow. has made searching for books a lot easier and a lot more exciting for the kids. Okay. And the... Um the computers, if they want to come in and use the computers, is there a charge for that? No, there's no charge for the computers. We have two in the children's room that are loaded with games for ages 2 to 10, and then we have the public computers that are internet ready, and the children can use those at okay. no charge also. And you guys do video um, rentals also there. We do loan the movies. You have to be 13 and up, but plenty of kids are coming in with their families to borrow movies. So there's a lot going on at the library, but... You know, if you have kids and you're trying to figure out what to do with them this summer, this Fizz Boom Read, 
bring them in. It's lots of different activities, and we have contact information up on the web, up on the screen here, so people can go online. and There's a schedule on the um, on our website. website. You'll see a calendar of events with activities happening every day at the two branches. It's okay. going to be a great summer. Do they need to register ahead of time or just show up? There are a few activities that require registration. We have a program of events, and if anything is listed in red, they should call and sign up ahead of time. But there okay. are about 80 programs that are drop-in this summer, so they can just come if their schedule allows. So if it's raining and parents, <laughs> you don't know what to do with your kids, show up at the library. There's probably something going on. It's true. So, well, so much. Uh, there, there's just so much. I thank you for coming in, Julie. Thank you, And Debbie. hopefully you'll get more kids coming for this. I hope to see lots of kids at the library this summer. All right. Thank you. Thank you.